We will discuss about compound interest. So when we say compound interest, that is the interest, the addition of interest to the principal sum of a loan or deposit. Or in other words, interest on interest. It is the result of reinvesting interest rather than paying it out so that interest in the next period is then earned on the principal sum plus the previously accumulated interest. So what is the formula in finding interest? So the formula is A A equals P times 1 plus R over K raised to K T. So that is the formula in finding the uh, compound amount. So that is the formula. So A is the com compound amount or final amount. That is compound amount and P is the principal principal or balance initial principal balance ang R that is interest interest rate and yung N is the number or ang K pala K ang K is number of times interest applied per period and T number of times interest interest applied applied will be per time period okay then ang last ang t is the number of time periods elapse okay so that is the formula ito tandaan then, how to find the value of K? Itong tandaan natin. How to find the value of K? So, ang value of ng K is K. So, pag annually, annually. So, the value of, isa lang L dyan ha. Iris, iris muna natin. Annually. Semi annually. Okay. So the value of K is semi annually is one. Semi annually two. Quarterly. Four monthly is twelve and daily is three hundred sixty-five. Tandaan, ito yung value ng k. If it is semi-annually or compounded annually, the value of k is one. Pag compounded semi-annually, the value of k is two. Pag compounded Quarterly, so the value of K is 4. Pag compounded monthly, the value of K is 12. And compounded daily, so the value of K is 365. 
So, let's try another example. So, this one. Find the maturity value and interest if 10,000 is depos deposited in a bank at 2% compounded quarterly for 5 years. So, first we need to identify the given in this problem. So, let's identify. So, ano ba yung given natin? So, maturity value ang inhanap. So, that is compound amount. So, ang inhanap natin or ang value natin or ang given natin dito is P equals Okay. So, that is 10,000 ang R is 2%. We convert natin yan sa decimal that is 0 0.02 then compounded quarterly so the value of k is 4 kasi compounded quarterly and t is 5 because that is 5 years pag month ang given so you need to con convert it to years so let's substitute this given formula so formula is a equals p times 1 plus r over k raised to kt so let's substitute so p is 10,000 times 1 plus ang value ng r is 0 0.02 over value of k is 4 raised to 4 times 5. Next, we have 10,000 times 1 plus 0 0.02 divide 4 that is 0 0.005 raise to 4 times 5 that is 20 next 10,000 times ito i-add natin ito so that is 1.005 raise to 20 next equals 10,000 times Ito, 1.005 raised to 20. So, meaning, 1.005 times 1.005 times 1.005 ka 20. May multiply ito. Yung 1.05 by itself. So, that is equivalent to 1.104895. 5 5, 7, 7. Then, last. So, ano yung sagot natin? I-multiply natin yung 10,000 dito. Multiply. So, the result is 11,048.96 pesos. So, ang hinahanap natin is maturity value. So, ano yung maturity value natin? So, ang maturity value is the ito, 11,048.96 and yung interest. What is the formula in finding interest? So, interest compound ito equals A minus P. So, ang value ng a is 10,000 or 11,000 rather this compound amount 48.96 subtract 10,000 that is the principal amount so ang interest is 1,048.96 ito yung interest after 5 years okay 
So, next, ito yung sagot natin. Ito yung maturity value natin. Compound amount plus interest, that is maturity value. Then, ito yung compound interest. 1048.96 Next, another example. James borrows 50,000 and promises to pay the principal and the interest at 12% compounded monthly. So, how much he repay after 6 years? So, let's identify the given in the problem. So, identify. So, given yung P is 50,000. Ang R is 12%. Pag i-convert natin yan sa decimal, that is 0 0.12. Then, ang K, what is the value of K? That is compounded monthly. So, the value of K is 12. Then, the value of T is 6. 6 years. Then, let's substitute the value of the given in the formula. So, A equals p times 1 plus r over k raised to k times t. So, ang value ng p is 50,000 times 1 plus ang r is 0 0.12 over 12. But, is the value of k. Then, 12 times 6. So, 50,000 times 1 plus 0 0.12 divide 12. So, that is equivalent to 0 0.01 raised to 12 times 6. That is 72. Then, equals 50,000 times... So, 1 plus 0 0.01, so that is 1.01 .01 raised to 72. Then, let's continue. Equals 50,000 times 1.01 .01 raised to 72. That is equivalent to 2.047. Zero nine nine. Then you have to multiply fifty thousand times two point zero four seven zero nine nine. The answer is one hundred two thousand three hundred fifty four point ninety seven pesos. After five years, ito na yung pira mo. That is your compound amount. Ito compound amount or maturity value then tingnan natin interest after 12 years ay 12, 6 years so interest equals compound amount or maturity value subtract principal amount so 102 1,354.97 subtract 50,000 50k so equals what is your answer? that is 52,354.97 so must duble pa yung interest after 6 years Ang hinira mo is 50,000. Then after 6 years, ang babayaran mo lahat is 102,354.97. So with the interest of 52,354.97. So sobra pa double yung interest kasi nga yung interest rate is tingnan niyo malaki. That is 12%. Then, matagal pa ito. 6 years. So, abo talaga ng dubli yung interest. 
okay so that's all for today